Hey guys, what is going on? We are back with another best class up in Vanguard, our first one of 2022, and that is taking a look at the BAR or the Browning Automatic Rifle. Now, this is actually one of my more interesting weapons in the game. I actually think this is one of the weapons that I've done best with, and I've actually gotten on a number of different almost V2 rocket streaks, including a random one that we actually managed to like finish off. We actually got a V2 on Dust House, which was just ridiculous. I wasn't expecting it, I was just vibing. This is actually one of my most favorite weapons this year. Not a lot of people are talking about it, and this is going to be how to make the BAR overpowered in Vanguard Season 1. Just before we do get into it here, though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it, and it really does help me out. I know about 85% of you guys watching these videos right now are not subscribed, however, if you could take the time to hit that little red button for me, that would absolutely make my day. Plus, big shout out to the BAR here for having a 134 or 165, 170 millisecond TTK. And if you do want to see more class setups like this one, you know what to do. So the fantastic thing about this particular weapon is that there is a blueprint in the battle pass at tier 24 that does offer you the BAR with some of the last unlock attachments. I believe there is a magazine attachment with this thing, like level 68 or 69 in terms of level, which is a very, very late unlock here for improving basically all of the weapon stats here. It gives you like a 68 damage per bullet. Starting off here, we do have that Mercury Silencer, though, for the increase to our recoil control, as well as a nice amount of sound suppression here, meaning we do not appear on the minimap when we are firing this thing. Then in the barrel slot, we do have the CGC 27-inch 2B. This does make us highly accurate and controllable, as well as increasing our damage range and reducing the scope sway that we get from this thing. But this is one of the attachments that you can switch out for the Chariot 18-inch Rapid Barrel, and this does actually increase your fire rate by about 20%. Taking it to 434 RPM, giving us a TTK value that we talked about previously of about 134 milliseconds, which is lightning fast here, but you are less accurate as a result. So that's just something to keep in mind. Then in the optic slot, we do have a slate reflector here for a very nice clear sight picture, but that's more for close range to medium range combat. You can take a G16 two and a half times if you do want medium to long range combat. In the stock slot, we do have the Chariot WR for aiming stability, recoil control, accuracy, and flinch resistance, meaning we do hit the target very, very easily with this thing. Following up a second Second shot you get that one shot on target all you have to do is just hold down the trigger and the second bullet goes basically in the exact same spot easy two shot kills in the under barrel we're going with the m1930 strife angle grip at the moment for a plus two to our accuracy which is that horizontal recoil control but i'd probably go with like an m1941 hand stop or a mark vi or six i guess skeletal for the aim down side speed increase in the magazine slot this is one of the attachments that is unlocked via the weapon blueprint which is absolutely fantastic does allow us to get the 0 0.50 bmg 30 round mag which increases our bullet velocity our range our damage our bullet penetration and our maximum ammo capacity giving us that 68 damage per bullet and a fire rate of 365 rpm which is not lightning fast it's actually really really slow but when you do hit as hard as you do with this thing all you need to do is land two shots and you get an easy kill in the ammo type we do have lengthened here which is again another relatively late unlock here i believe it's like mid 50s to unlock this which increases our bullet velocity by 30 percent giving us fantastic hit detection with this weapon rear grip we do have a fabric grip which is a little bit of an early unlock here aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed in the proficiency, we do have sleight of hand here to give us a faster reload speed. And then in the kit, we're actually taking a surplus at the moment because we are still leveling this thing up. But you can say fully loaded here to give us the maximum starting ammo. Alrighty, so we are on Eagle's Nest here. And this is actually one of my favorite maps for getting pretty decent gameplays on. Just because you get a bit of everything here. Obviously, it's a very close quarters map. And there is a lot of like close range stuff pretty much all the time. But because there is these sort of longer lines of sight. Okay. <laughs> oh, great timing. Because there is these sort of longer lines of sight, you do get a bit of everything. Like, honestly, you do get a little bit of everything in terms of, like, combat variety. Chuck that in there and just back off, actually. I'm going to go around this side. I don't need to be dealing with that right now. Now, where are we looking here? Just got to be a little careful here, a little bit slow. We don't have as much information as we would probably like on this map, which is not ideal. Again, I'm always a little careful when I am pushing down this corridor because I know enemies love it down here. They love this way. And again, you basically have to pre-aim this as you walk down here. Pretty sure nobody's coming this way just yet. And as the enemies do die, they will likely come this way. We jump off there. Anybody? Any enemies at all? Any enemies? I know the second I leave this spot, like take your aim down sight and move somewhere else, I'm going to get pushed. So let's go this way. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say was going to happen, boys? Uh, <laughs> we backed off here and make it a little tougher for the enemy to shoot us here. We'll just back off, get a nice reload in. Wait for those boys to come to us. That is very, very important on this map as you can do some work here. But if you do have a weapon like this, it's probably a little important that you do sit back. 
just a little. Just a little and let enemies come to you. Don't camp. Still play aggressively and, and try and get as many kills as you can. But yeah, just let them come to you sometimes. That was rough. That was rough. I was a little bit rough on that first kill there. So we ended up being rough on the second kill as well. Enemy just there got taken out. I think there's another guy down there. So we're going to chuck that all the way over there. I'm going to push up here. Try and be as aggressive as possible. Got the dogs in again. A nice little distraction. I love the dogs in this game, man. They're such a comical distraction. And they still jingle. And they still jingle when they run around. I love the Christmas update for this game. A lot of people don't like it because Krampus, like, ruins their game. But I just love... I love the dogs, man. I just love that the dogs run around and they jingle everywhere. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I like cute stuff in my games. And I like, like, serious combat content all the time. I like dumb stuff, too. Especially when you do have the, uh, the dogs and you got the, uh... You got the forward intel going. You can't really die in this game. You can, but you, you really shouldn't. Wait. Hello? Oh my god. My nose is so itchy. My nose is so itchy and I can't scratch it. <laughs> that was unpleasant, but we got to rotate back around because they are coming this way as well. If we get here, the sooner we get there, the better. Ooh, a little rough there, but we managed to get the kill. 1 and 11 here without doing too much. Actually going to go inside. We're going to venture inside for a second. Only for a second though, you don't have to be in there too long. Jump across. I'm a little nervous about being in this spot, but we should be okay. Okay, nah. Nah, I'm backing off. The gas grenade messing you up when you're trying to shoot people is not good. <laughs> oh! He wasn't on the... He was not on the radar there. That. Shout out to this guy. Shout out to that guy for ruining our streak there. What is going on? How is how is that still happening? <laughs> uh, that kind of bug has been in since the Vader, and they have not. They, it just still happens. I don't know why. Like a physics object breaks and it just sort of stretches out, and it's just hilarious. It's one of my favorite things about this game. It's so stupid. It looks so dumb, but it's funny. I love it. You can check that over there. Trying to push around the left hand side if possible. Push up kind. He pushed behind us. Push behind us with a shotgun. That happens. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little careful here. I'll check that over there and try and push through the inside. Okay, he's going this way. I'm actually, we're gonna go on the outside here. I think there's a guy coming this way right now. Ooh. What? We went all the way around. That's fine. I'm going to keep trying to go around the outside. This is a little risky because I know something like that could happen immediately. I don't really want to reload because I know there's going to be an enemy there as soon as I do. There's a guy behind us. God, this is a mess. And okay, we got him. This is, this is a mess. I can't... Really? Leave me alone, dude. I can't pick that side. Just a little tap fire as we walk across. Just a little tap fire just in case there's... We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Leave me alone. Jesus. A little bit of a tough spot here, actually. Waiting for an enemy to go on the outs. Dog. Dog. Alright, we're going to go on one last little run here to see how we do. And if we can get some kills, that'd be good. If we don't, we're going to call it. An enemy is in here. No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. We got 38 kills and we got a few deaths here. But I think we did quite well in certain situations. You saw how good the bar can be. You get those two shot kills. This thing's a monster. So we're going to have our final thoughts on this in just a second here. So as you saw there, guys, I don't know what it is about this thing. It's probably just that two-shot kill and insanely good accuracy. Just being able to tap people across the map with this is really, really fun. 
I've gone on some of my absolute best streaks in this game with the BAR or the Browning Automatic Rifle. I'm not sure a lot of people are talking about it, but that is basically how to make the BAR overpowered in Vanguard Season 1. If you did enjoy this one and it did help you out at all though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do massively appreciate it and it very much helps me out. It allows me to keep making content for you guys, supporting me. It's absolutely fantastic and I love you for it. But again, 85% of you guys watching this right now are not subscribed, so you know what to do to make that number a little better here. And again, as a result, hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.